Welcome to today's podcast. I am your host, Dr. Fidel Adabaraza, and on this channel we discuss matters to do with neurodevelopmental disorders, which are injuries on the brain or the central nervous system. And the examples of neurodevelopmental disorders include cerebral palsy, autism spectrum disorder, ADD, ADHD, among others. Today, we have our special guest, Josephine Wende. Have you ever wondered how a person with cerebral palsy navigates love, navigates medication, navigates employment, navigates just the life hurdles? To help us answer these very important life questions is our very own beautiful Josephine Wende. Welcome Josephine, and once again, it's such a joy and such an honor to have you on this podcast channel. Thank you, it's my, I'm humbled to have to be here today and to talk with you. Awesome. Yeah. So today uh, we want to tackle this important question. You know, many people assume that because somebody has cerebral palsy or somebody, you know, has neurodevelopmental disorders, they don't have a right to feel loved or to be in love. You know, love, dating and sex, yeah. that is the, you know, uh, ju just to put it as it is. Or they, you know, don't have a right to be employed. They don't even have a right to go for medications and all that. And so I want you to speak into these uh, particular areas and talk about, you know, um, love, dating and sex for persons with disabilities and especially cerebral palsy. And also speak into their right for inclusion, especially in the medical uh, arena, in the school, education systems, and in the employment sector. Okay, thank you so much once again. And when it comes to love and dating, mm -hmm. persons with cerebral palsy or other persons with disabilities have the right to choose mm -hmm. the kind of man they want, the kind of a lady they want. We also have our own tastes. Mm -hmm. You can't just bring me any kimbaba and you start <laughs> telling me now this is your husband, you can date him or mm -hmm. no, we have the right to we also have those preferences. Mm -hmm. Like I have my own qualities. Mm -hmm. What do I need in a man? Mm -hmm. Not just because I have a disability or because I have to love the person, I can date any man. No, no. that's not that's that's not true. Even not even in my dreams mm -hmm. that, with mm -hmm. that can never be. Because mm -hmm. I also have my own preferences. And I know what I want. Mm -hmm. I know what kind of a man I want to date. Mm -hmm. So no one should ever choose a man for me. Mm -hmm. No one should ever choose a woman for any person awesome. with neurodivergent disabilities. Mm -hmm. Because like any other person, mm -hmm. if you can't choose a, a man to a woman who has no disability, mm -hmm. well then, Mm. Should you choose for a person who has a disability? Because you know, I, as me as myself, mm. I know what I want. Mm. So if you choose for me, then you are choosing according to what you want, not what I want. Mm -hmm. So we should be given. There will be no connection. Of course, yeah. it's it's according to the force issues. Mm. They said the human can force, but Kufos we are not issues. forcing any, <laughs> not the things like that. So. <laughs> Uh, just let everyone choose mm. what they want. They mm. know what they want, mm. and they are on their right minds yes. for what they want what to, they want. To, mm. to 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 get in their lives. And when it comes to, let's say, uh, schooling, uh, we we always advocate for integration in schools, and the teachers and everyone there should learn on how to accommodate these learners with neurodivergent disabilities or other cerebral palsy. Because you see, if, if we really start from that early age mm -hmm. of the positive interactions with the society, you know, it will, as they grow up, they will know how best they can lead or how best they can involve or yeah. engage this mm. child who has mm. the divided disabilities mm. that's from their early ages at school mm. and that will create a very inclusive society because we see most of the time we pass on to the disabilities are taught on how to live with people who have no disabilities mm. Mm. but again when it comes to children or other people with that disabilities mm. you are not taught on how to live with us mm. why should it be 
a one-way traffic. A one-way thing. No, so you not. are taught, we are not taught. Yes. And so it's like, you understand us, but we don't understand exactly. you at all. Yeah, there are those who are very green when it comes to disability. They know nothing about disabilities. Yes, we are. We we know how we can deal with you, mm. but when it comes to to the now yes, the other way, we don't way, know how to. You don't know how to engage us. Mm. It's like when I saw Gopa, who felt that I who is like a machine. I'm a one. I'm a one. I'm a one. I could treat like my eye. Exactly. You are not. People are walking around eggshells around Imagine. you. If not, they are also treating you as if you are dummy and. You know. Exactly. So we are not the eggs because of what one will live with another liver. So just uh, take us as we are, yeah. embrace us as we are. Yeah. Just from the, let it start early in those school age time. Mm -hmm. Because if we start there, we'll be talking other stories right now. Mm -hmm. And now when it comes to health and uh, all those uh, the medics, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know if it. I once asked someone and they told me that, you know, in our school or in our curriculum, we don't have any unit that touches on disability. Mm -hmm. And that's why we don't know most of the, uh, we, we don't know more, more on how to deal with new people. But again, you as a human being, that is that humanity perception in you. Mm -hmm. Why can't you even have that, uh, that just, um, that's a little aspect of humanity in you mm. to teach anyone equal. Whether she has a disability or they don't have the disability. Mm. You know, everything is not short. Mm. You can just, you as a human being, just think it in, in, a, in a human way aspect mm. or in a human rights aspect. Mm. Don't, it's, you don't have to be taught on how to treat someone. Mm. Just because they have cerebral palsy, you treat me different mm. than those who don't have uh, cerebral palsy because you think I'm a lesser bit. So mm. to the medics, kindly, be mm. fair to us. Mm. And when you come to hospitals seeking mm. for contraceptives, you know that condom, and when you could pick up, you know the purpose. So, <laughs> Why do you need this? And when a woman with a disability comes, when I'm here to can you sit and pick up the No, it is for the same purpose. That's why you are giving the other woman. And again, I tell you, this is my family. Oh, then you're a quaker, you're a boy. Why me? In a camp or no, but you need to come any other person than you're a woman to give everyone the right to access. Sexual reproductive health. What did you do? What did you do? You did that part. You did that. And yeah, I really and, love your sense of humor. <laughs> and now, and and you talk about employment. Mm. You find that you know there are those who are very gifted when mm. it comes to technical services. Mm. So why don't why don't the employers consider they look? Mm, they just um, implement their 5% employment of persons with disabilities. Rather than just when you can check the tick boxes, we have these people, and when you go to that quadrant vision is different. Mm. You go there, they have no one with a disability. Mm. Yet out there, we have so many people who are mm. jobless, mm. and yet they are qualified. Mm. So stop looking or stop focusing on them outer appearances. Mm. Give us the opportunity. Mm. Let us do what we can do. What to do is to compare them with some we tried, but they let mm. us know. Mm. Rather than the assumption mm. that these people who are going to put in one of the do you know, there are those who think when you employ a person with a disability, mm. you also have to employ a doctor, mm. which is a, a very bad perception. Mm. Person with disabilities, all they need it's just the reasonable accommodation, mm. a few adjustments here and there. Mm. And uh, one thing I can tell you for free, and this you can take it to the bank, mm. the best employers ever, mm. employees, mm. are persons, persons with disabilities. With disabilities yes. You know, for them, they don't uh, meander around to go all over mm. to do alcohol uh, mm. and all that. Mm. When they sit at they their sit. desk, in the morning, mm. at a soccer for maybe going to the washroom, mm. or maybe, but they give you a hand, 
a hundred percent commitment mm. to the organization. Mm. Just trust them and give us feedback. Thank you. Awesome. We have learned a lot. Nuggets that you can actually take to the bank. When it comes to employment, try persons with disabilities. They are committed and they give you a hundred percent. These are people who will give you value for the money that you pay them. Try and create inclusive societies at the employment, uh, your employment stations. When it comes to the medical uh, fraternity, please give and issue the medications to the persons with disabilities. One of the things that she has talk, talked about is about, uh, you know, contraceptives and all that. But let me also add and say therapies are very important. When they come for therapies, please give them therapies. They need these therapies. And therapies are important for persons who are neurodivergent. It is not a, a luxury. Yeah. A therapy is a necessity. And that will be maybe our last take from you. Talk a little bit about therapies for persons with disabilities. Yeah, this is a very key thing when it comes to our daily life. It's like, mm, it's like a daily food. Mm -hmm. So when I think this should be one of the things that the government should sub subsidize when it comes mm -hmm. to therapies and also the converse, what do you call the medication for? Anti-convulsants, yeah, yeah. yeah, medications, yes. Yeah, and so that one should also be, or be given for free, even the diapers. And, and yet you that. find that anti-convulsants are very, very, very expensive, expensive and it's not something that you're taking just for, you know, you, when you're in pain, yeah. you are on it for a lifetime. For a lifetime. And you remember, most of these caregivers so or the parents, are jobless because yes. they are taking care of these children 24 7. So where do you expect them to get the money to purchase all this, this medication? And yet, yet the our government is there giving free condoms to people. Sex is not a basic need. Will you die if you don't have a sex? The other is no, you cannot die if you don't engage in sex. Mm. But if you are not, no, on on this, uh, the interconversant medication, you, you will definitely die, die yeah. but you will not die because of lack of sex. So do away with sex thing, bring, bring along the, the, the medication for, for neurodivergence uh, people. Let it be free or rather just subsidize it to be affordable. Mm. Awesome. And the therapist, please make therapies affordable most of these people cannot afford the therapies that is what we are saying thank you so much please give us your parting shot it has been such a joy such an honor to have you and i'm so glad that you came thank you for having educated us a lot your parting shot oh thank you so much again for having us so let us let us all embrace diversity we are all different and please please remove the barriers that you are creating for us. Without those barriers, we are go-getters. We are going for it. And we don't need any sympathy. We want empathy. Stop sympathizing with us. Give us opportunities. And let us show you what we do best. Given the right accommodation, the reasonable accommodation. And to my dear fellow people with disabilities out there, you are the best version of yourself. You are created for the purpose. Ensure you fulfill that purpose that you are created for because you will be accountable for what you did not do. Yet, yet you had the opportunity and you had the time to accomplish what you are created for. Leave alone not this, what the society is saying or telling you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Be you always. Thank you so much for having been with us here at Beauty Out of Maya. We all belong to something beautiful. Keep it at Boom Trust Podcast. Please remember to subscribe and follow us on all our social media handles. I am your host, Dr. Fidel Adabaraza. Until next time, ciao.